All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name is Valerie Zambrano. I'm the Proficiency Specialist here at Cal State San Marcos. And today, we're pretty much going to go over your English and math proficiency requirements here at Cal State San Marcos. So the EPT requirement, what is the EPT requirement? It's an overview for students who scored below 147 on the EPT and need to take GW 101. So for whoever needs the EPT, or whoever needs to meet the EPT requirement, you have one year to complete the EPT requirement, which means that you will be taking GW in the fall semester. For those of you who cleared the EPT requirement, you're not required to take GW 101 in the fall, but you are required to take it in the spring of 2018. So for those of you who see on your tags, take GW in spring, it's because GW is a college requirement. So those of you who are not proficient, you have to take it in the fall. Those of you who are proficient, just take it in the spring. So there's ways that can exempt you from taking the EPT requirement. That is, if you score a certain number on the SAT, ACT, AP classes, EAP, or obviously the EPT. So if you score below 147 on the EPT, you must take one class, which is GW 101, in the fall semester. So the entry level math requirements. So those students who fall or who are not proficient with math, you can take up to three semesters of math remediation. And then there are ways to exempt you from the math requirement, which is, of course, the SAT, ACT, AP test, EAP, or the ELM. So for those of you who scored from 0 to 28, you're required to take three classes of remediation. Some of you guys have the opportunity to take Early Start, which will then pass you out of one or two semesters of your math requirements. If you guys are just taking the class that has Early Start credit, you will be taking Math 10 and 20 in the fall semester. And then for your spring semester, you'll be taking Math 30. For those of you who scored between a 30 through 38, you will be taking Math 20 in the fall and Math 30 in the spring. And then keep in mind that the ELM you can retake over again. So if you guys score a little below, I would definitely recommend that you, you take it again. Because once you get that 50, you're done with your math requirement. So for those of you who scored between a 40 through 48, you need to take Math 30 in the fall semester. Oh, and then one more thing about this one. So for those of you, which we have a lot of students who end up in this level, if you do not complete your math requirement by the end of the first year, you will not be able to attend next fall. There's students who say, oh, well, they have Math 30 at a community college. We have no equivalent Math 30 anywhere else. You can only take Math 30 here. So keep in mind, it's very important to pass all these classes before the end of your first year. So what if I don't complete my ELM and EPT requirement? If you guys do not complete this by the end of your first year, which is technically the end of the summer of your first year, then again, you guys cannot come back in the fall. So please take these classes seriously. I know it's your guys' first year. You guys want to explore and do everything, but these classes are really important, especially if you want to continue here at Cal State San Marcos. And then also, what is considered a passing grade for my ELM or EPT? You guys must score or have a grade of a solid C or better. It cannot be a C minus or below. So the Early Start program. Um, for those who, are, who need the math proficiency, or you guys did not meet the proficiency, requirements, you guys are required to take Early Start. So if whoever did not pass the test, you must be in Early Start classes. And then depending on the school, like Cal State Fullerton, 
they offer a class that will pass you out of two semesters of remediation. I'll, I'll answer questions after. Um, but it, depending on the school, again, because Cal State San Marcos, they only offer classes that will pass you out of one semester of remediation as long as you're in the correct class. And then English proficiency is required for all the students, again, who did not pass the EPT or any of the tests, such as ACT, SAT. So early start deadlines. So if you guys did not do this on June 16th, that was the last day to change their choice of the school. If you guys weren't able to and you guys live far away, Cal State San Marcos is the only school you guys can attend right now. And then there is a deadline to complete the Early Start program, which is August 10th. So if you guys notice, some of the schools have a later Early Start date, and which will end after August 10th. Those classes we cannot be in because we won't have scores before your first semester. So if any of you guys um, would like some extra help, we do offer, we do work with um, PASS. They're just our, our counselors that will work with any of you guys who feel like you're struggling with anything, especially if you're having a hard time in math or the English or just life problems in general. PASS will be there for you guys. So now we can start with the questions. Yes. Okay. Okay, so his question is, he's taking ESM 45 at Cal State Fullerton. He wants, he doesn't know how many um, semesters of remediation will pass you out of. ESM 45 will pass you out of two semesters of remediation. You would have had to score a certain number to get in that class as well. So if you pass that class, you're done with your remediation, and you won't have to take math 20 in the fall. Any other questions? Yes. Okay, so her question is, she's taking a class at Cal State um, San Francisco, and she wants to know what happens with those scores. Does she have to send them, or what goes on? What it is, it's, it's through a smart page, so all those scores will get uploaded if you guys are attending a different school other than Cal State San Marcos. Yes. Okay, so her question is, she's already enrolled in Math 30 as well, but she's taking the same class at Cal State Fullerton, ESM 45, um, but she's already enrolled. So what, what happens after that? If you guys pass that class, ESM 45, then you can drop that class when the semester starts and then enroll in a college-level algebra, depending on your major. Yes. Okay, good question. So he's asking if we can skip the Early Start program and just take it in the fall. The, question, the answer to the question is no. Early Start is a requirement for all the students who did not meet the proficiency requirements. So if you do not take the Early Start classes, you guys will not be able to attend in the fall. And they're really strict on that. Yes. Okay. Well, with your situation, we can always look you up after all the questions are done and just see that you're in the correct classes or if you're conditionally exempt as well. Yes. Um, okay, so for all the out-of-state students, you guys are exempt from taking the early start requirement. So the tag is probably wrong just because they've seen your score or something like that. So don't worry about it. Yes. Okay, so her question is, she's an ESM 20 at Cal State Fullerton. 
Unfortunately, ESM 20 is just early start credit. So with early start credit, you get your credit, you're learning basic math skills, and you will continue to take your semesters of remediation in the fall. If you are taking ESM 40 or 45, those are the classes that would have passed you out, or at least of two semesters of remediation. Yes. Okay, so her question is if she retakes the ELM, but she's already pre-registered for her classes in the fall. So what happens then? So it's, it is kind of like the same situation. You pass it, we see that you're good to go. You can drop those classes right then and there. Any other questions? Yes. So her question is, if she passes all these classes, the math proficiency requirement, does she have to take college level algebra in the fall? So it really all depends on your guys' major. Some classes will require you to take college algebra. Some classes will require you to take pre-calc. Um, but it all depends on you and your schedule and your major. Because some of the classes you can't get into until you pass those basic math classes as well. So just meet with your advisor and just try to figure out a plan. Is there any other questions? Okay, at this point, if you guys have any specific questions about your classes, your grades, or anything, you guys can come meet with me or Jeanette or Jeff, and um, we can answer those questions specifically. Thank you.